what it do, what it do, what it do. All my paper chasers, all my YouTube gang, my Facebook family. Hope everybody doing all right. Fellow drivers, co-drivers, truckers of America, truckers of life. You know, we out here doing our thing, man. Um, about to get started on load number 31, y'all. I got to go to our yard up there in uh, West Loma Springs, Oklahoma and pick up a seafood load that's coming in. Uh, I'm gonna relay the load. I guess somebody's running out of time or they can't deliver it on time or whatnot, but either way, man, it's still a load. So that's the way to look at it. That's the way it's gonna be done. It's gonna be load number 31. Yes, sir. You know how we do, man. We keep the wheels turning and burning and uh, we keep burning. So, uh, never turn down a load man you always take the load because it always leading to something better man and uh i have a hell of a dm i have a hell of a company to work for here you know everybody is pretty good planners are good dms are good just a whole unit together everybody is good man the whole office staff that's why i love this company um so let's get started on this number 31 let's go to the yard Let's get some things done. Let's hook up to that trailer and let's get moving, man. Yes, sir. Paper chasing gang made it over here to the yard. Show y'all some of these nice trucks we have, man. In stock, that's one of them right there. 123. That's that's the green machine. Y'all know that truck. I don't know if this is, I don't know if this one here is uh for hire or not. I'm not sure, but uh, I think somebody's. I think it's somebody's truck. Yeah, it looks like somebody's truck. But uh, look at that color, man. That's real nice. There's a truck of a guy that, uh, he's done a video for Hurricane Express. Real cool guy. I can't remember his name, though, but he's a real nice guy. And here's some of the 333s, guys. Those long bodies, look at this, man. Look at those colors. Don't those colors just stand out? That's why when you see a hurricane truck, you know a hurricane truck when you see it. They still got to work on these and get them stretched out and put all, this, all the lights and chrome on it and stuff like that. The visors and stuff. But I uh, just wanted to show you guys that. Real nice. Real nice trucks. Here's a couple of, here's a couple of 333 stretches. Looking real nice. They still gotta put visors on them and lights and stuff. But uh, they're coming along, man. How y'all like that? Let me know how y'all like that, man. This is a great company to work for. I enjoy working here. Look at this color here, man. Wow, that is nice. But they still gotta put the, uh, and they got eight, eight inch stacks on them, guys. Look at that, man. Ooh, woo. That is nice. Just uh, a little too long for me, man. <laughs> can't fit no, I can't fit nowhere that I go with these. It just, it just ain't gonna work. When you got a fixed fifth wheel back here and you know, you're trying to fit into places that uh, this thing ain't gonna fit. They don't have a uh, APU on them, but they will put an APU on it for you for $2,500. I don't know how much you have to put down, but they will put an APU on it. Look at that, man. Those things are nice, especially with those eight inch stacks on them. These new ones over here, 
They don't have any stacks on them yet, but they will be putting stacks on them. As y'all can see, it's getting dark out here. Uh, they're just beautiful trucks, guys. That's what we have, beautiful trucks. We light up the road. You know a hurricane truck when you see one. I just wanted to show y'all this, man. You know, this is the shop where you bring your truck to when your truck needs repairs. And uh, go from there, man. But uh, look at that, look at that blue right there. That's nice too, man. I'm pretty sure they're gonna put some more colors on it, make it stand out. It is gonna be a stretch one too. So this is our shop right here. Let y'all see that, man. Um, anytime you need some lights for your truck, they're real easy to change out. Uh, just come over to the shop and they'll get you a handful of them, you know, keep you going. Um, just all around good company, man. Good people. And uh, I enjoy working here, guys. Badass working here. One of our drivers right there. Uh, get ready to hit the road. And uh, I don't know if my trailer has made it here yet. I'm waiting on my trailer to get here. But uh, in the meantime, just wanted to show you guys this. Then once I get my trailer, uh, I'll get back with y'all. Yes, sir. What up, all my people? Uh, trailer finally got here. Supposed to be running at minus 10. It's doing its thing right now. We're checking all the lights and everything. Making sure everything is working properly, man. Um, doesn't have the side skirts. Got the, it's got the uh, singles on it. So, uh, Trailer lights working. Top ones are flashing. Yes, sir. About to get up out of here. This is a seafood load coming out of Cali. Um, first, it's got two stops. First drop is gonna be in Knoxville, Tennessee. And the second drop is going to be in Durham, North Carolina. First drop is on Wednesday, second drop is on Thursday, and uh, we're gonna get it done, man. It's 1,032 miles total, and it's paying pretty good, so can't complain about that. We're just out here making sure all our lights work before we head out. And that one right there is real dim, but it's working. I don't get it, but flashes are working, headlights are working, everything's working. Then do some night driving, you know how it is. Do a little night driving, and uh, we're gonna make this thing happen, man. Yes, sir. We're gonna make this thing happen. So, uh, we'll get back with you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a safe night, be safe out here on the road, man. And uh, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Yes, sir. Hey, what up, what up? Uh, we just stopped over here at the truck of mat over here. And uh, Lil Rock got the, got the green machine all cleaned up, man. Got them all shined up. Uh, they don't do hand dry over here, so we're gonna have to roll in a couple of minutes so we can do that air dry. And they even rinsed off the trailer for a brother. I sure appreciate that, man. That's, that's, that's good looking out right there. But it's all clean. Just doing a little walk around right quick. Let y'all see that. We're over here in Little Rock. Gonna get rolling again. But I just wanted to come out here and check that out right quick. Yes, sir. Oh, check that out right quick. And uh, get this bad boy moving. Cause uh, time waits on no man. And uh, we need to be rolling. So, uh, We'll get back with y'all a little bit. Just wanted to show y'all that the green machine is all cleaned up. Yes, sir. Then tomorrow I'll probably put some tire shine on. Have them look special again. You know what it is. Yes, sir. Walk around here a little bit. There we go. Y'all can see this bad boy shining. We light up the whole damn road, man. Yes, sir. What up all my YouTubers, Facebookers, 
fellow drivers, co-drivers, truckers of America, paper chasers. Uh, we made it over here to the first stop over here in Knoxville, Tennessee at Custom Foods. Um, where that truck is parked right there, that's where you pull in at, and then you go to the receiving door, and uh, you ring the bell, somebody will come to the door and uh, get your name, and uh, let you know what door to back into. Then once you back into the door, um, you put in your, you put your wheel chalk back there, and uh, disconnect the red, the red airline from your trailer, and then um, they'll, they'll put a glad hand lock on your trailer, so you don't move the trailer while they're unloading it, and then you just wait for them to unload you, and they bring you back out your paperwork, and then you're out of here. Our next stop will be in Durham, North Carolina, but just wanted to fill y'all in, let y'all know where we're at over here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Getting the first stop off for load 31, uh, load of seafood that came out of California. And uh, once we unload this first part of it, then uh, the second part is only gonna weigh like 1,500 pounds. So uh, that's gonna be real cool to be able to save some fuel like that, guys. And uh, use that mud flap app. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Um, Drop comments down below. Let me know what you think of the videos and stuff like that. Hope I'm not boring you guys with my videos and stuff like that. Uh, I get a lot of compliments about guys saying that uh, thanks for making the videos. It's helping them make the choices uh, to come over here or change professions and become truck drivers and stuff like that. So that makes me feel good to, to help people out. You know, I don't do it for fame. I don't do it for a fortune or anything like that. If I can help some people out to, to make better choices on, on coming here to Hurricane Express or, you know, going to different companies, you know, then I feel like I've done my part and that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help, man. So um, if y'all have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, I, I'll, I'll give you what I know, you know, so, and I want to send a shout out to uh, Trucker Scoob E. Do here on YouTube. Y'all look them up. That's Scoob Trucker Scoob E. Do. Um, he gave me some advice last week on a load I did and said that uh, you rather tote the trailer than to drag the trailer. So um, that was pretty good advice there. In other words, he was telling me to have more to weight on the trailer instead of on my drives. So that was pretty cool because I was putting more weight on my drives and leaving the trailer with less weight on it. And his advice was good advice. It worked out. I tried it. It worked out. So thank you, Trucker Scooby Doo, for your uh, for your advice, man. I appreciate that. Giving you a shout out, bro. Um, you, you got way more subscribers than me. I'm, I'm trying to get up there with you, man. So I appreciate your uh, your advice, bro. And I'm, I'm using it. So just wanted to give you a shout out on that. Um, Want to give a shout out to anybody that subscribed to my channel. I appreciate you guys. Without you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. Or I, I'll just be doing it to, to watch myself later on in life and said I did this. But in order to, to do this and, and help you guys out makes me feel real good. So we will get back with you guys later on when we stop for the day. Let y'all know where we're at, man. Until then, y'all be safe. Uh, wash your hands, wash your ass, wear your mask. We'll get back with y'all in a little while. Yes, sir. Get this thing unloaded. Got to keep moving. Keep the wheels turning. Keep burning. Keep burning. <laughs> What up all my people, as y'all can see, a little wet out here, let's check the oil and everything, checking all the lights and everything man, walking around, as y'all can see, this rain is following me, this tropical storm that came ashore the other day, um, it just keeps following me, but that's all good man, I don't mind. Uh, we made it over here to 
Marion, North Carolina yesterday here at the Loves. Got the truck warming up right now. About to get some DEF and uh, get up out of here and uh, start the journey over to uh, over to Durham. Drop this load off and then um, going to go to Greenville, South Carolina over there at the house of Rayford and pick up load 32. So uh, that's what it is. Checking all the lights and everything right now. Always make sure you check your fifth wheel pin, guys. You know, I'm back there in the sleeper with the TV on. You know, I can I can feel when somebody's around my truck or, you know, I can feel it. That don't mean I have to necessarily get up and look, you know. Uh, I just make sure I check everything before I leave. That way I don't have no problems, you know. So, always check your stuff, man. Don't don't leave nothing for short. Always check everything. Uh, and uh, you'll be all right. So, uh, we'll holler at you guys. Check this tent. Yes, sir. Don't leave nothing for short. But we'll see you guys when we get over to Durham and close out this video. And uh, like, comment, subscribe to the video, guys. Go to my YouTube channel. It's G Dog, D A W G, Antoine, A N T O I N E. That's G Dog, Antoine on YouTube. And subscribe to my channel, man. Uh, give me a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe. Leave comments, man. Whether they good or bad, you know. And. Uh, I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate all the love everybody showing me and stuff. All the all the positivity and stuff like that. Uh, you be positive with me, I'll be positive with you. That's the way it goes. You know, you get what you give, what you get. You know, so um, I'm not a negative guy. I'm a humble guy, and that's what I believe in: being humble and, and being nice to people. I treat people the way I want to be treated, and that that. That's the way it goes, you know? Somebody wants to be an asshole with me, hey man, you get what you give. So, <laughs> that's the way the world works. So we'll see you guys when we get over there. Yes, sir. Join the team. Come on now, join the team. That's the team right there, man. Come on, we're family over here. Yes, sir. What up all my people? YouTubers, Facebookers, color drivers, company drivers. We made it over here to Durham, North Carolina. Suite 104, 2320, Presidential Drive, Durham, North Carolina, GNR Seafood LLC. We're here to drop out the last part of our load, the second drop of our load. Got to wait for them to come out and move that little red truck right there, and that truck, and that truck. So we can get up in here, get this thing dropped off. Mapping a lot of rain last couple of days, and believe it or not, my truck still looks good. Golly, man, I think it's still clean. I can't believe that. All the rain I've been in, uh, still running it at minus 10. But I know for low number 32 over there, and let me show y'all something. Come on here, man. Come on. Uh, for low 32, we're going over to, um, we're going to pick up over in uh, Greenville, South Carolina at House of Rayford and uh, picking up some chicken over there to take it to Simmons over there in uh, Salome Springs, Arkansas, which is right up the road from the yard. So, uh, I gotta put it at 20 degrees over, over there. So, I already know that. And uh, that's the winning team right there, man. Come on with it. But uh, that's gonna do it for this load, guys. We got it all done. Waiting to get into the door, get it backed in. And uh, there's only got one pallet on here. 
only weighed 1,500 pounds, so uh, you can imagine the fuel mileage I was getting with it on the way over here. So, yes, yeah, sir, that's a good fuel mileage. You gotta go another uh, 248 miles to pick up the next load. So, yes, yeah, sir, that's gonna do it for this one. Took me Bailey up there, about to take her for a walk and let her stretch her legs out. go down in the comment section uh, like with like comment subscribe to the channel uh, I'm trying to get up there with these uh, with these subscribers and uh, just letting everybody go through this with me you know I give it to y'all the way I get it so uh, we're, we're we're on a journey together. I'm glad y'all are taking this journey with me, man. I appreciate everything. I appreciate all the comments, all the new subscribers. Keep watching because I shoot a video for every load and uh, just trying to stay positive and help help guys out out here. And, you know, if you think I'm doing something wrong, then let me know and we'll go from there, you know. And uh, advice, advice is always a good thing, you know, whether it's bad or good. Advice is always, is always uh, good to hear and stuff like that. So, if you guys give me some advice, let me know what I can do better. And we'll go from there, man. Until then, we'll see y'all on the next video. For number 32. Yes, sir. And we're going to get it done. Hey, G Dog. Out. Wash your hands. Wash your ass. Wear your mask, man. That's what I always say. Do that.